Good morning everybody and welcome to this week's Headmasters video blog. It's Friday the 2nd of July. Well, like you, I'm sure you were glued to the Euros earlier this week. Um, some fantastic games in the last 16 and of course, uh, as per the comments in my blog and newsletter last week, England and Germany did turn out to be a battle of the titans in a very closely contested game. But how wonderful to see the England team show strong mentality. And I seem to remember a commentator uh, actually alluding to the fact that many of the England players were not even born uh, the last time that England and Germany met in a major competition. So perhaps that's why they were able to overcome uh, any potential mental block. But absolutely wonderful that England have moved through with a win against Germany um, into the quarterfinals. And of course... We have that to look forward to against the Ukraine tomorrow and uh, a wave of euphoria, I think, and uh, a much needed morale boost for the country. So let's hope that the England team can prevail against Ukraine in Rome on Saturday and then they have the potential of a semi-final and indeed a final back on home turf at Wembley. Um, equally, Andy Murray is uh, treading the turf at Wimbledon once again. Uh, every single point seems to be a marathon and increasingly nerve-wracking, as is his want. But uh, when you put that into context against the Euros and Wimbledon and the cricket, it almost seems like a normal summer. Well, quite, anyway. We also had some fantastic news here at Kingswood House this week. I am so pleased to say that Kingswood House has been shortlisted for a very prestigious Independent School of the Year Award for 2021. I don't want to dwell on this too much, um, but I will simply say my team of teaching and support staff have been outstanding through a most exacting few months. They have acted selflessly and in the interests of the children at all times, and this acknowledgement and recognition is richly deserved on their part. I applaud them all and I am immensely proud. Thank you and well done to my wonderful team. We had on Monday um, an uh, inaugural tea and talk online for all of the new girls who were joining Kingswood House in September. It was obviously disappointing that we couldn't hold the event here in person, but uh, as, it, as it came, uh, the, the weather was pretty inclement, so it may not have been perhaps as fun as we had wanted it to be. But nonetheless... We had a fantastic time talking to each other, talking about the school's values, what we've got to look forward to next term. Um, and I'm really, really excited. And I think the girls were too. And judging from the responses this week from their goodie bags that have arrived through the post, we are really looking forward to seeing hopefully 20 of you through our doors in September for the first time since 1899, since when this school has been all boys. So the future is bright. The future is co-ed and we are all incredibly excited about that. Uh, we also had the, heart, the House Arts competition uh, a week ago today. Um, again, this is a new initiative. Thank you very much to my creative and performing arts teachers for putting this on. They were really pleased to see the amount of interest and some stunning entries. And I will read out the winners of that competition in due course. We also had a really instructive assembly from 7BA on Wednesday talking about their top tips for respect and 7BL also talked with great conviction about National Sports Week, so well done to you. Uh, at the time of speaking, our year 9s and 10s are out, many of them are on the Duke of Edinburgh Assessed Expedition. I'm really pleased for you boys that it has stayed dry, but uh, they are trekking around about 20 kilometres and... Um, orienteering their way from one base to the next. Fantastic opportunity to grow in independence and life skills. Thank you to Miss Patel and Mr Lordy in particular, who I believe are accompanying them on that event and hope to see you all back safe and sound later today. Um, in a few minutes, Mr Mitchell and myself will head up to Epsom College um, and check the logistics for the marquee for prize giving on Monday. Please look out for an important missive that we will send out before we leave school today. It may be late. We have a lot of thinking to do in terms of planning for drop-off, pick-up and anything else related to prize giving on Monday. We want to make it safe, but we also want to make it fit for purpose and round off our year in a way that is uh, appropriate. And thank you to Mr Clark and his team, the KHA, who are working hard for jollies on the last morning of term. 
This will take the form of Mufti with a Euros theme and lots of fun will be had. So that will be a week today. Mr. March has been working hard on uh, collating all of the reports for subjects and form teachers and they will be sent out to you next week as well. Just a note of caution, please always make sure that you as parents read the reports on your own to start with before sharing and discussing any of the content with your, your children. It is so easy for comments to be misjudged or misconstrued. We have tried incredibly hard to make sure that the comments are constructive but also that they leave a positive tone at the end of what has been a most challenging year for the boys. And that is what we want to um, leave with you. So please make sure that you can uh, address that and make sure that any idiosyncrasies are ironed out before you share any of the comments with your boys. And of course, if there's something that you want to pick up on, do get in touch with the relevant teacher before the end of term. And finally, uh, looking ahead to the end of term and next term, uh, we are increasingly hopeful that bubbles and other restrictions will be lifted on July the 19th during the holidays. Um, I have no idea at this point in time what the start of next term will look like. However, I am going to be bold enough to say that I think it will be bubble free. I'm not convinced that it will necessarily be mask free. However, uh, we will of course write to you in good time and tell you how all of that will work. What I will not do is write to you early in the holidays and make a guess. I will wait until the last possible moment until we have as much clarity as we can and let you know um, just before the start of term. I hope you understand that that makes sense from our point of view. Um, I will do a short blog next week to round things off at the end of the term. And then in the holiday, I will also do a short blog once we have our GCSE results to commend our year 11s. In the meantime, let's move on to this week's Mentions and Dispatches. So well done to Matt Vihalotta for showing Endeavour from Mrs Lambert, Rafi Martins for making a fantastic recycled robot for uh, our citizenship project from Miss Black. Year 3 will be nominated for their geography work uh, from Mrs Marskell, and Lewis Lockhead for a great biography on Gandhi, Ben Scudamore for reading from Miss Smith, to Jamil, Max, Harvey, Harry and Harry B for always being good friends says Miss Forbes and Lucas Christie and Enzo Beretta Polaro for their work in English and Maths respectively from Mrs. Siva. Darren Usa has done a wonderful uh, robots project for the enrichment programme. It is absolutely wonderful. I have seen his video. Well done, Darren. And Tristan Bush has done very well in Maths Arithmetic, says Mr. Clark. Alex Wang and James Miller all got a commendable grade nine in their English grammar exam. The top mark. Well done, boys. And Jasper Wong, and noted here by Mr Barrett for his real enthusiasm for learning at the moment. Keep it up, Jasper. Theo Walker, nominated by Miss Patel for showing great maturity. Arlo Saywell, Ethan Carroll, Theo Jenkins, Avanish, Bo Clark and Josh for always being the first table ready to work for Miss Patel. Shades Charlie, Josh R, Zach Moffat, Dylan Bishop, all showing really good professionalism with their applications for positions of responsibility into year eight. Well done. And in 7BL... Um, all of the boys have been nominated by Mr Lordy, who have been on fire, he says, with their four- and six-figure grid references in geography. Lucas Staples, she's been Henry Chernor for their work on photosynthesis. Max Lopez for remembering the chemical formula for glucose. And Zach Moffat for great independent work in science, says Mr Barrett. And Dylan Bishop, nominated by Madame Swift for great conversations that they had in French about the Euros, even though Dylan was disappointed that the French team were knocked out on Monday. Eddie Collins, well done to you for stepping up and organising the stall for Jollies. Enzo Reed in 7P also for great information on upstairs and downstairs brains in PSHE. And Joe Huang for being kind and holding open doors. And Mr Clark would just like to say well done to everybody in Year 7 who's put themselves forward for a position of responsibility. Obviously we cannot nominate or select you all, but this is a life skill. Well done for putting yourself forward and uh, some of you are going to be very fortunate to be selected and others you may need to bide your time. But that is real life. Well done for being in the mix. Into year eight, Henry Sweetman. Great resilience and effort this week, says Miss Patel. Uh, Mr Lordy, I like this. Henry is polite, courteous and does the right thing when no one is looking. Well, that is something I'm going to talk about a little bit at prize giving. So well done, Henry. Patrick Gray, well done to you for your work in French, says uh, Madame Taylor. Sam McCaskill, a complete 
180 degree change in attitude for the better, says Mr. Barrett. Patrick Gray, Tobias Van Hennigan, Archie Spick and Lucas Cressy for great space questions. Lovely to see you looking so genuinely interested, says Miss Patel. Into the seniors, Ted Hartley, a great all-round week, said Mr. Hendry. And Max Garrett, an industrious, industrious few days from you. Will Hamilton, constantly submitting great work in classics from Mrs. Weston. And Anthony Miernick, although he's not had a great week or two, he's been on a report card, he's had a much better week so far. And we believe in you, says Mr. Twinley. We want you to turn this around before the end of term. So come on, Anthony, keep up the work uh, this week in terms of making better choices, please. And Marcus Glenn, well done to you for your house cricket from Mr. Hendry. Into year 10, Ryan Luneman and Hugo Davis being kind and considerate to younger students on the recent gifted and talented trip to London. Thank you, Mrs. Hornstetter, for that. Sam Squire and Joe Offen, great work for computer science. Max Mitchell Nesper, likewise for coding. Harry Richardson and Cameron Allenby stepping up and offering their help when there was a leak in the senior toilets. And Mrs. Uh, Witz was absolutely delighted to see that you didn't run away, but you were the first there to volunteer and help. So Harry and Cameron, I'm very pleased with you. And uh, Cameron again, Eddie Fisher and Sam Squire for their work in science from Miss Patel. Eddie Fisher and Sam Slaney for their great house cricket. Into 10W, Mrs. Weston is pleased with Jack Bettman, Ali Dawson and Theo Spick for asking very good pertinent questions of Judge Kent at the senior lecture last week. Well done, boys. And Mr. March would like to say well done to Rory Gibbs, Max Mitchell Nesbitt and Theo Spick for their dis uh, discussion work on Frankenstein. And Jessica, finally, well done to you in house cricket. Now, uh, the house arts competition winners were as follows. We had over 30 different entrants, and some tough judging decisions, but in lower prep, first place to Ben Scudamore, second place to Cameron Edwards and Seb Phillips, third place, Lewis Lockhead and Zach Darwin. Year five and six, first place, Kevin Tan and Benji Schumacher, second place, Josh Draper, third place, Aaron Arokandran. Year seven and eight, first place, Ivan Tutai and Zach Fitzgibbon, second place, Tommy Wood, third place, Bogdan Podibigora. And in the seniors, the overall and only nominated winner is Follow Ieni. Well done, and uh, thank you to all of those boys for entering. So that uh, brings us to the conclusion of the penultimate week of term, and what a busy and productive week it has been. It has been really wonderful to see all of the boys getting out and about and keeping so busy and doing so many different things. I'm proud of them all and look forward to being able to celebrate with them and with you either virtually or in person, at the prize-giving ceremony on Monday. And a final reminder, please make sure that your child is picked up from school no later than 5pm on Monday. There will not be anyone here to supervise them after that time because we will all be up at Epsom College. Have a great weekend.